Hi everybody, James Blackwell with JB Commercial Finance, finding finance for businesses where others can't. This is the third video um, in a little series that seems to have started um, about the bounce back loan facility, something I've talked about for several months now and something which has been really, really prevalent in my industry. I got asked an awful lot of questions about this and I just wanted to summarise them in a few short videos so I could direct people to these if I'm asked any questions. This is the third video in the series. Each time I've answered three questions to keep them quite short, and we'll do exactly the same here. So, question number one, is a sole trader liable for the debt? And the answer is yes. As a sole trader or a partner, you are liable for money borrowed in the sole trader or partnership business name. And that is the same for this facility. Um, this may be seen as slightly unfair because one of the big selling points of the bounce back loan was if you are a director of a limited company, then you um, don't have to sign the director's guarantee. But as I addressed in the previous video, just because you're not um, personally guaranteeing the facility does not mean you're not liable for it. And if sole trader or a partnership, there's no way around this. If you're borrowing, you are responsible for the debt. And any negative um, behaviour with regard to repaying this will have a major detrimental impact on your personal credit history. So make sure you keep it paid. Secondly, um, can this be used to pay dividends or personal expenses to the bounce back loan? Now, clearly, I would always advise you talk to your accountant. Um, generally speaking, you should talk to your accountant before taking out this kind of facility anyway. Um, but can it be used to pay personal expenses? The answer really is a little bit grey, but no. It's a business loan. It should be used for business expenses. Now, at the moment, people are borrowing the money and they're using it personally to survive, and I understand that. But be very careful if you're drawing money out of a limited company, especially, um, and using this for personal drawings. Because if at the end of the day there's no profit in the business, which is highly possible, you could be, this could be looked at as a director's loan to you from the business. And there are certain restrictions about repaying that, which can be very, very onerous. So if you know that you're not going to be able to make any money for a while because of the restrictions that have come by COVID and you're using the bounce back loan money to live on, please talk to your accountant about it. There may be measures you can put in place to mitigate any potential future shocks. So this could be a ticking time bomb for a lot of small business owners. So please think about it. Don't put your head in the sand. Contact your accountant and see what can be done. And the third one, which is kind of linked to that really, and that's about keeping a track um, of the expenses that are actually being made with the bounce back loan funds, and it never really occurred to me because most people keep a you know keep a record of their business expenses anyway. But I've been asked a couple of times in the last couple of weeks about actually keeping specific record of bounce back loan expenses, and I don't think it's a bad idea at all. Bearing in mind the second point I just made about um, not using it for personal monies, but there's always going to be a bit of crossover for a lot of small businesses. So I think if you can keep a record of exactly what this money is used for, either putting it in a separate bank account and, and monitoring it that way, or keeping just a receipt book, I think that's a good idea. It's not essential, it's not a requirement of the facility, but I don't think it does any harm because at some point lenders or HMRC are going to continue to investigate how these funds are used and you don't want to be exposed if you can cover your back for very, sim very simple bookkeeping. So three more questions. I've got a load more. I'm not sure how many more I'll do on this, but hopefully that's useful. Please like, share and ask any questions you want me to answer about the bounce back loan. Thanks a lot.